Hi, Carl here for Pro Evo TV, and welcome to Up to Speed. This is going to be a new quick weekly news roundup designed to give you a simple one stop shop brief overview of what's happening in the industry around us. We'll let you know about new products, technology advancements, and any offers and deals we are doing which could save you money. So keep an eye out every Friday for a new video to make sure that you're up to speed. So let's get started. This week has seen the announcement of one of the biggest advancements in lens technology in the last 80 years, or perhaps even ever. Researchers led by Federico Capasso from Harvard have created what they are calling a meta lens. It's a completely new lens technology that uses a fabricated material to replace glass, changing the entire way a lens works. These meta lenses are incredibly thin, the example is 2 millimeters wide and could potentially give better image quality than some current optical lenses, especially the small ones in smartphones and the like. Another big advantage of this lens technology is that it would be much easier to mass manufacture. This could bring the price of lenses built this way right down, meaning smaller, lighter lenses which are much more affordable. While on the subject of lenses, SLR Magic has announced two new lenses for full-frame Sony cameras, a 35mm f1.2 and a 75mm f1.4. They're both fully manual lenses with geared focus and aperture rings, which is great to see. We haven't got exact pricing yet, but it looks to be in line with competition like the Samyang Primes, so could be very popular. The raw update for the Sony FS5 is starting to make its way into the wild. Paul Antico from Anticipate Media has put up a fantastic blog post going through how he installed it and showing some footage using it out and about recording into the Atmos Shogun in ProRes 422. To be honest, the difference in quality with the ProRes over the internal XAVC-L isn't extraordinary. After all, Sony does a great job with the quality these cameras can record internally, but if you use a recorder which can record the RAW into Cinema DNG, you'll be able to unlock all the normal benefits of using RAW, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can manage to capture using that. So G Technology have announced some Atmos compatible products, a replacement for the Master Caddy that Atmos use which fits into their own dock system. This can either be used by itself via a USB-C connector on the back, or it can be slotted into their G-Dock Evolution series of products for a convenient docking system on your desk. You may have heard about a big earthquake in Japan, which put a major Sony sensor factory out of action in April. This has caused major delays on Sony products, but we are happy to tell you that we are starting to see small amounts of stock coming through now. So if you're waiting for a Sony order, you hopefully shouldn't be waiting too much longer. In case you've missed it, we've started a new system of regular discounts, which we are calling our deal of the week. It's been running on the website for a few weeks now and it's been getting a great reaction. And this week we have our popular Lishue Daylight 1x1 panel, the LED 1000, down to a crazy low price of £255 plus VAT. So check that out if you're looking for some affordable, high quality lighting. We also have a deal currently running on the Panasonic DVX200, giving you £230 off. This will run until September, so make sure you don't miss that if you're interested in this camera. So that's it for this week. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of the next episode of Up to Speed, which will be released every Friday from now on. This is obviously a brand new thing for us, so please do let us know if you like it, or if you have any suggestions at all, just tweet us at ProAV or leave your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.